okay fellow sim racers welcome to the page welcome to the channel we are here to talk about the logitech g29 today and why it is practically the best wheel for getting started in sim racing let's go okay so when it comes to simulating real life there's a couple of things that make this wheel stand out against the competition so let's dive into a couple of those the first one price so if we were to take a look at um, Facebook Marketplace real quick, Let me just see if I can bring that up. Oh. So let's talk about price for a second. Here we have a couple listings just in my area and they start at 150 and go up, up to like 350. But let's be real, like $200 is that sweet spot and you're getting them practically brand new. There's a surplus of these devices. There's lots of them on the market. And I think the main reason is that these wheels go on sale a lot. So my advice when it comes to pricing, never pay top dollar because these wheels are abundant. Like they are. The fuck was that? <laughs> Chipotle. But yeah, yeah, they're everywhere, guys. So entry level, it's one of the best bang for your buck. It's not gonna be like one of those direct um, drive wheels where there like, can be like five hundred for the what do you call it? Uh, hub alone but let's take a look um let's just let's just search fanatic because why not yeah oh wow okay these are just the pedals okay but you see what i mean <laughs> yeah we're not even gonna we're not even gonna uh we're not even gonna get into that one but yeah price logitech beats everybody with that hands down so moving on to the next category we're gonna talk about quality so a lot of people i see in my videos have complaints saying oh it's a toy it's plastic da -da 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 -da. it's been over a year now that i've had this wheel pretty sure and nothing's broken you know what i mean it's not bad, not bad. nothing's broken right like it's been fantastic i don't get any weird issues just because of the build quality like they have this leather on the steering wheel it feels pretty durable it hasn't flaked off it hasn't cracked hasn't torn like it's just been great buttons are plastic too uh there's metal on the shifter if you wanna it's pretty good like as i said no concerns here when i just got my um my shifter a lot of people were telling me um be careful because these break easily so i'd pass down that word of advice because it does feel fragile when you're shifting gear sometimes you won't even take the gear that you put it in but i think that's just user error from me not like pressing in the clutch fully or something like that and yeah speaking of durability the next part to take into consideration is these pedals are super strong the brake pedal i hear a lot of people complain saying it's too firm but let's be real you can tune the sensitivity of the pedals in almost every game that you play that supports this system so it's not really a big concern me personally i like it being more firm because it feels more like real life the, the throttle can be a little bit spongy can be a little bit too easy to press but again kind of similar to real life because a lot of these real cars are using that like drive-by wire electronic pedal control stuff and it's just really soft it's even softer than this pedal this is feels more like a mechanical you know I mean? linkage, but still at the same time not the same and even then you can change the springs to get you know what i mean more compression and have that feel a little bit more realistic same thing for the clutch i think the clutch is perfect in my opinion like it's not too strong you know what i mean not too soft not too spongy it's just great but yeah for a build quality this thing is really solid for the price point now, let's be real it's not gonna be like one of those like two thousand dollar rigs where you know what i mean you have to put all your effort into moving it around and it's just super realistic like let's be real guys it's an entry level wheel but for what it does it's amazing so moving on to the next category so let's talk about the user interface upon first glance whether you buy the g29 which is what they would say is for the playstation and the g923 which is for the xbox both of them work on pc but um it feels right at home you still have your triangle square o x r2 r3 l2 l3 like laid out in a manner that you can press everything easily while still holding on to the wheel so if you have something programmed to it like your nitrous or your e-brake or something you won't have to move too far off the wheel to press it same thing with the directional buttons are still there 
you even get this additional like plus and minus to like add more control so you can dial things up or down there's this knob really love the knob i use that to control boost levels or break bias in a set of course and it's just fantastic you can also program to that to be a horn it's so sick you also still have your share button the option button and the um playstation button i'm assuming it's the same for the xbox one i don't have the xbox one i'm not reviewing the xbox one but it's pretty much the same layout so when it comes to usability it's just it feels right at home it's just like the playstation controller except there's a steering wheel attached to it so it's fantastic another topic i'd like to touch on is compatibility a lot of people always ask will this work with this game will this work with that game and realistically most modern racing games right now unless they're fully arcade they do support the wheel so big titles like gran turismo assetto corsa um, smaller ones like carrix drift like those are the main ones that i play and they support them they keep on adding updates for them like they're very very well sought after like they yeah they don't leave us out so if you're worried about compatibility most of the games out there the truck simulators the farming simulators like most of them support this i've even seen people use this wheel um i think it's a country in asia that they synchronize it to their rc cars like real life rc cars and they drive the rc cars from home using the sim setup this thing is actually crazy so i'm saying for the price <laughs> ridiculous so yeah compatibility it's another high score right there for car yeah it just it works it works man it works now let's talk about force feedback whoa i'm gonna get a lot of backlash for this one because i think my most popular youtube short is um saying how crazy the force feedback on this thing is and 90 percent of those comments are saying it's a joke it's nothing try a direct drive wheel all of this stuff and um people people take it very seriously when i say this <laughs> force feedback on this thing is no joke listen man if you have never tried a sim wheel like any kind of um, simulator wheel whether it be direct drive built driven gear driven don't matter if you have never tried it before it's gonna be a surprise it's gonna be a wake-up call and for me it was definitely it it it's strong it's strong enough that if you leave a stray finger in there while in a crash or experiencing any kind of heavy force you're gonna get hurt you know what i mean it's not gonna rip the finger off but it's not gonna be fun <laughs> so just just letting you know as this video is targeted to new buyers people that don't already have the wheel you know what i mean so just be aware that it is it, it can be strong and if you dial that sensitivity all the way up it's gonna be a fun time and for someone that's coming from the controller where all we had was the vibrations so like different road surfaces and bumps and potholes and stuff like that when you get into something like this where you turn into it and then have to counter steer and you can feel those forces working against you it's quite immersive so uh yeah force feedback is actually really good on this wheel don't listen to what the haters say on the internet these people are talking from experiencing serious direct drive wheels with lots of newton meters of torque and they just don't remember what it's like to be a beginner in this so uh, yeah for the new people coming in expect that force feedback to be real moving on i know for my last topic but definitely not the least probably my favorite is customization these have a lot of aftermarket support as you can imagine the wheels been out for quite some time and there's a lot of stuff you can do the main thing i really want to do with my wheel is upgrade to a larger diameter deep dish steering wheel which means that hub will be further back to that mounting position and then the wheel itself will be closer towards you this is mainly because i like to do sim drifting but you can also change this wheel to adapt for f1 so if you want to you know what i mean cut off top cut off bottom just side plates kind of thing yeah you can get that you can get the deep dish wheel as i was saying you can get just another small perfectly round wheel there's so much stuff you can do with this and a lot of them allow you to swap the wheel while still keeping the factory button positions and layout so it's awesome when it comes to customization as for mine i really just have some stickers you know what i mean low level customization but it's even friendly for that they stick nothing's peeled off it does have a textured finish but the texture isn't too aggressive that it won't 
let stickers stick so yeah customization for me 10 out of 10 man but yeah guys to wrap it up that's what i'm saying the logitech is just the ultimate beginner wheel you know you can argue with me in the comments but it is what it is man when it comes to that durability compatibility customization you just you just can't beat it for the bang for the buck man it's abundant it's here it's now and it works so yeah that that's that's just that's just it man that's my two cents on the topic but you guys are more than welcome to get down in the comments and do what you normally do i really appreciate it it's all love here and if you found this video helpful i would like if you can like and subscribe to the channel for more sim racing content but yeah until next time i hope you enjoy the rest of your day have a good one